On average, the human body has about five and a half litres of blood. But I'm about to have a bit less. I'm here at the Red Cross Donation Centre to roll up my sleeve and give some blood. One in three Aussies will need to be given blood at some point in their life. So that's why they need people like me, healthy people, to donate. Emma, how going Emma, come through. Thank you. First, I have to answer a lot of questions and go through a few tests. Now I'm just gonna check your blood pressure today, mm -hmm. Emma. Sure. Okay, yep. That's because they need to double check that I'm fit and healthy. If I'm sick, I could pass that on to whoever receives my blood. Riley's come to donate today too. It's his first donation. You can donate money, but it's the best is to donate yourself. He's donating whole blood. That means they're collecting everything. Red blood cells, platelets, plasma, the lot. Most blood donations go to people who have cancer or other diseases. Then there's people having surgery, people with broken bones, and even mums and their newborn babies. As you can see, it's really useful. I'm just donating plasma. That's the yellow stuff in that bag. It's used for different things, like protecting sick people from infections or treating people who bleed too easily. But the process for getting plasma is a little different to a regular blood donation. OK, so I'm hooked up to this special machine. Basically, what it does is takes the blood out of my arm, puts it into that machine and spins it around really fast. That pulls the plasma out and that's kept in here and then the other blood comes back into my arm. So it takes a while. They'll take the same amount of plasma from me that's in three litres of blood. Kiddo, you are a blood donor. We're both all done now. So could you feel the blood coming out and stuff? I couldn't feel anything. The needle went in and the blood came out. So where does the blood go after it's taken out? Well, the blood gets taken to a lab to make sure it's all clean and healthy. Then it's sorted into blood groups. There are eight different ones. O positive is the most common type in Australia. I'm B negative, which is pretty rare. They need to know which blood type each donation is because certain people can only receive certain blood types. But Group O is a bit special. It's called the universal donor because anybody can receive O blood, even if you're a different type like me. Weird, right? After all that, the blood is delivered to dispatch centres like this. They get orders from places like hospitals and medical centres and deliver the blood and plasma where it's needed most. So you never know, the blood that you donate could one day be used to save a life.